Okay, in this problem, we're told to apply definition one uh, to find the Laplace transform of f of t, where f of t is equal to one when t is between zero and one, and f of t equals zero when t is more than one. So first, let's write down the definition. So we see that the Laplace transform of f of t is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative st times f of t dt. And we know that f of t is equal to 1 when t is between 0 and 1, and 0 when t is more than 1. So when t is more than 1, so from 1 to infinity, we know that f of t is going to be 0, and the integral beyond 1 will be 0. So we can simplify this to simply the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the negative st times f of t dt. But now we're in the range from 0 to 1, so we know that f of t is just 1. So we know that our Laplace transform of f of t is simply the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the negative st dt. So we can calculate this integral easily. It's negative 1 over s times e to the negative st, evaluated from 0 to 1. And we can plug in our values. And we get negative 1 over s times e to the negative s, plus 1 over s times e to the 0. e to the 0 is just 1. We can simplify this a little bit. And we get 1 over s times the quantity 1 minus e to the negative f. So our Laplace transform of f of t is 1 over s times 1 minus e to the negative f. So forgot to mention that this is going to be obviously when s is more than 0. So our Laplace transform of f of t is 1 over s times the quantity 1 minus e to the negative s for s more than 0.